just got home a little bit ago from work and then I stopped at Aldi's to pick up some things for date night tonight. We're gonna make a little charcuterie board and I feel like I've talked about this on my channel before but Aldi's has such an amazing cheese selection. If you've never checked it out, definitely go take a look because they also uh, switch it out seasonally as well. We found so many of our favorite cheeses from there. So we picked up some, well first of all I picked up some cotton candy grapes just because they're delicious and go well with the charcuterie board. We got some brie, which is my favorite. Colby does not like it, but I enjoy it a lot. Then we got this truffle cheddar cheese, which I believe we've tried before and we definitely liked it. And then this one we haven't ever tried. It's French onion Havarti. They also had, I didn't get it this time, but they also have a scorpion pepper gouda, which is very spicy, but it is amazing. So Definitely excited to make a nice little charcuterie board later for our date night. And also I wanted to show you, our date night tonight is gonna to be a little arts and craft project. Colby has some things that he's working on as well, but I picked up one of these. It is a book nook. It looks, it's hard to tell from this picture, but oh, on the back. So basically you make your own like little, it looks like a book from here, but on the inside, you make like a little setup and it lights up and it's so cute. I picked the Sunshine Cafe. So it looks like a little bookstore on the inside. And I'm so excited to put this together. I really hope that the instructions are in English, but if not, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be fine, but I'm super excited to put this together later. And I'm sure Colby will help me as well. Oh, this is really random, but I was randomly at Michael's today. And I found the cutest little mushroom candle. Look at that. They had a couple different sizes. This was the tallest one. And I just thought this was so cute. It's only like $5. So if you're at Michael's, get yourself a little mushroom candle. Oh, there's salami in my bag. I forgot I also got some bite-sized salami for our charcuterie board for Colby. I don't like salami, but he is a huge fan. Nothing else hiding in here, right? No, we're good. Okay, so it is a rainy evening here and I have a headache that I cannot get rid of. So I think I'm gonna go take a shower and add some peppermint oil to the shower because that always does the trick for me when I can't get rid of a headache. So we're gonna go shower and then we'll get ready to get set up for our date night. I just, I'm really stuffy. Maybe it's just allergies. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, on the agenda for today, we are supposed to be going to two, I have two separate friends that have markets where they're selling their homemade items at today. They're in two different locations. So I want to go to the one that closes first, first of all. Uh, the only thing is it is pouring down rain, which I'm so sad for them that it decided to rain today. Um, one of them posted that she has a tent and that she's still out and set up in the rain. The other one, I'm not so sure about, but you know what? We're just gonna go anyway. We're gonna go check it out. Friends support other friends' markets even in the rain. So we're gonna go do that right now. And then later, 
Um, tonight, actually, one of my friends is pregnant and I'm so excited for her. She has her gender reveal tonight. So when we get back from the markets, we have to actually bake some cookies for tonight. Whoop. <laughs> and I have these. So my friend that's hosting is um, doing like a little fall theme for the party. And I have these little fall cookie cutters that I think I'm going to use. I thought about doing just like pink and green, pink and green, pink and blue cookies, but I think that the fall shades would be cuter and just a little bit easier because I'm in a bit of a time crunch tonight. So anyway, we've got to get going and go to the market and then we'll be back later. yesterday right now they're a little bit dirty but I think they came out okay I'm, I'm happy with them they're not they're not perfect I'm not a professional but I think they're cute and I'm happy with them anyway today what we have on the agenda is so first and foremost I have some sad news unfortunately Gal Gadot our sourdough starter is no longer with us um I may or may not have left her out on the counter instead of putting her in the fridge and she grew mold, which of course is a no-go. There's no saving that. So it's unfortunate, but we're gonna start again. We're gonna do a new starter today. So you'll be able to follow me along on this full new journey of this new sourdough starter. So I'm really excited to do that. And then the sun came out, which I'm so excited. It has been raining all weekend and we finally have a bright sunny day out there. So I wanna go outside. I wanna work on some things in the garden as well as I'm hoping to paint um, the birdhouse and bird post that's out there because next weekend I'm having a party outside and I would really like to spruce that up and actually use um, use the two posts that are out there to like hang some lights and flowers. So I really wanna get that painted because it's looking very shabby right now. So I wanna get that just some white paint and then we'll work on painting the birdhouse maybe later this week. But just for the first part, just getting it painted white is what I would like to do. And then we're going to cook a really cozy stew later and just have a cozy evening after that.
to settle in for the night. I have been working on some editing on my laptop for a little bit, but then I got sidetracked because I remembered that I wanted to name our new sourdough starter. So I was looking online for like some inspiration and I decided that in keeping with like our theme of our last starter, which was Gal Gadot, I'm gonna do Bridget Bardot this time. And I am determined to keep this one alive. So, and of course you have to name it just as motivation. Um, and also, has anyone been doing, let me see if I can get it to work. Has anyone been doing the little vault thing online for 1989 Taylor's version? I cannot get it to work every time. Like I can like get the vault to pull up with like a puzzle, but I can't get it to let me submit my answer and like go on to the next one. So just a silly little thing I've been trying to get to work because I am very excited for 1989. But anyway, I'm probably gonna call it a night here soon. I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, for spending time with me. It would mean so much if you could subscribe to my channel and give this a like if you like vlogs like this. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.